This episode brought to you by Noble Gold. Check out this free coin offer for my viewers. Now, inflation isn't something that we've heard of in a while, is it? But last month, the inflation rate in the US had the highest rise in the last 29 years. You heard me right, the last 29 years. You need to put up a sort of inflation dam to stop it from wiping out the value of your savings and investments. This month, they're offering a one ounce American Eagle solid silver proof coin with every IRA or 401k taken out. Visit our website at noblegoldinvestments.com or just click the link in the description or pinned comment. In reference to the checking of his watch, that didn't happen just once. That happened on every single one that came out of that airplane. It happened on every single one of them. They would release the salute and he looked down at his watch on every last one, all 13. Mark, yep. you want to comment on the watch incident? Did you notice the same thing? Yes, I did. Uh, I actually leaned into my son's mother's ear and I said, I swear to God, if he checks his watch one more time, and that was only probably four times in, um, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't look at him anymore after that. Well, initially I wasn't going to meet with him, um, but then I felt I owed it to my son to uh, at least have some words with him about how I felt. And uh, uh, it, it didn't go well. He talked a bit more about his own son than we did my son, and that, that didn't sit well with me. Maybe it's because my deceased son, Bo, served in Iraq for a full year. Before that, well, Willie, I was thinking, I think, the same thing that many people in the Pentagon, many people who have had their hands on Afghanistan policy over the 20 years past were thinking, and that is, it was always going to end this way. It was always going to end in chaos and death. That was a consequential speech by an American president at a consequential time and the president's choice to go hard with his own decision making. Hard to say, but I, I'll say them anyway, because here we are. 95% um, of the American people will agree with everything he just said. As you probably are aware, I actually have lauded the president from the very beginning about Afghanistan. He was dealt a horrible situation, and as of today, he's done an extremely good job in this situation. I actually think the president, from what he was dealt and what he's done over the course of the last week, should be congratulated on the way this was done. That, um you know, we should be a little bit more level-headed about this. But I think you have to give them some credit for what, number one, getting out, and number two, getting as many people out as possible. And we do have to remember, there are people who went there and were told they needed to leave, and they didn't leave. But, um, I, I, you know, I think people should stop beating up on the administration so much. I think the administration is getting beaten up on this a little bit too much because there's a lot of blame to go around. Come on, man. Shut, shut up. Shut up. He is the biggest snowflake of them all. The biggest one. And the further we get away from this story, I suspect that is not going to be an issue that's going to be driving any voters in 2022, or very few voters. At the end of the day, Joe Biden mm. did what 75% of Americans wanted him to do. He got out of Afghanistan.
We've heard 24 seven dissections of everything the Biden administration did or didn't do and all the factors going into the withdrawal of US troops and what it all means for Biden's political future and the future of Afghanistan is dramatically different, frankly from how the country has approached the January 6th insurrection. You know, the only reason that we know who the Taliban are is because they decided to back a terrorist group, Al Qaeda, right? They're an extreme right wing organization that perverts, you know, the Islamic faith for power, for their own, to take power, for power. Here in the United States, our extremists have a political party backing them. They have the only other major political party backing them. There are only two major political parties. One of them basically backs them. Chris Ray worked for Trump, right? He was Trump's FBI director too. Says is a lethal threat to us. You know what? I am far more interested in how we get that mission done that you just described than in knowing what Joe Biden knew from the CIA on Saturday.